Our universe is full of incredible sights and wonders. It's only been in the last 100 years or so that we've started to understand what's actually out there. NASA and other space agencies are always making new discoveries, helping us to better understand some of the cosmic wonders outside of our solar system. There's some though that have said that NASA can't always explain these discoveries, and one of the most recent ones was a strange object that showed up next to our sun. This alleged object has been detected by NASA for a few days now, with amateur researchers noting that it's been sticking close to our sun. Online users who've seen the photographs have described it as looking like a large planet. NASA themselves have said that they've detected similar looking things close to our sun, and that there's actually an explanation for it, noting that although these things look out of the ordinary, or even things like giant ships, the truth is that they're quite a common occurrence, which is one of the reasons why discoveries like this often make the rounds every couple of weeks or so. They've said that the truth behind these images is that they're not planets or ships, but rather that of a coronal mass ejection. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration said the following. Coronal mass ejections are large expulsions of plasma and magnetic fields from the sun's corona. They can eject billions of tons of coronal material and carry an embedded magnetic field that is stronger than the background solar wind's interplanetary magnetic field strength. CMEs travel outward from the sun at speeds ranging from slower than 250 km per second to as fast as near 3000 km per second. The fastest Earth-directed CMEs can reach our planet in as little as 15 to 18 hours. Slower CMEs can take several days to arrive. NASA said the following. The outer solar atmosphere the corona is structured by strong magnetic fields. When these fields are closed often above sunspots, the confined solar atmosphere can suddenly and violently release bubbles of gas and magnetic fields called coronal mass ejections. A CME can contain a billion tons of matter that can be accelerated to several million miles per hour in a spectacular explosion. Solar material streams out through the interplanetary medium, impacting any planet or spacecraft in its path. CMEs are sometimes associated with flares, but can occur independently. End quote. Although these events have been documented countless times by NASA and other space agencies, those who believe that there's something else point out that typical CMEs don't match the descriptions of these strange objects, saying that CMEs are usually much more random in appearance and appear to be elongated, whereas these objects look to be circular in shape. The discussion of life outside our planet is always growing, especially since NASA and companies like SpaceX talk about exploring the solar system. Although there's some that believe we've already been contacted, and are in talks with advanced life forms, scientists have said this is not the case, and that as of right now we have no proof that there's other advanced life forms out in space. This hasn't stopped them from talking about the topic however, noting that it's very likely that there's other life forms out in the universe, saying that out of the billions of planets scattered throughout the Milky Way galaxy, one of them is likely to hold some type of life form. Jill Tata, who used to be the director of the Center for SETI, which stands for the Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence, said the following about advanced life forms. Often the aliens of science fiction say more about us than they do about themselves. While Sir Stephen Hawking warned that alien life might try to conquer or colonize Earth, I respectfully disagree. If aliens were able to visit Earth, that would mean that they would have technological capabilities sophisticated enough not to need slaves, food or other planets. If aliens were to come here it would be simply to explore. Considering the age of the universe, we probably wouldn't be their first extraterrestrial encounter either. We should look at movies like Men in Black 3, Prometheus and Battlefield as great entertainment, and metaphors for our own fears. But we should not consider them harbinger of alien visitation. End quote. Some people shared their views on this and agreed with Jill, saying that Stephen Hawking didn't have the right attitude when talking about advanced life forms. 
one online user said the following. Firstly, we don't know how advanced these life forms would be. For all we know, they could be above us right now, and we might not even know it. We may not have the correct technology to detect them. There's so many variables that play into discussions like this. In terms of the universe, we are extremely young. And can you imagine what a civilization would look like if it was a hundred thousand or a million years more advanced than us? Think of what we've achieved in the last 100 years alone. When we think of the universe, we often apply human logic and human capabilities. And for all we know, there could be things out there that are beyond our comprehension. The truth is and always will be that we'll never know how many advanced life forms are out there in space. We're never going to have the tech that will allow us to travel with thousands of light years in a short amount of time, at least not any time soon. So the scientists and researchers saying these things are really guessing based on the limited information that we have available. The only thing I will say is that if a day comes that aliens do make contact with us, we best hope that they're nothing like us. Otherwise, we would be in serious trouble. End quote. Ventusky is an app that gives you live updates on wind, rain and temperatures, also allowing users to see maps and detailed forecasts. One user just found a strange anomaly close to Montego Bay, Jamaica. The person who found it said the anomaly was just staying in one place, and that they often use the app but hadn't seen anything like it before. They said that the satellite had detected the anomaly in early September, and that it hovered in the same region for around three days. The user posted the photographs and links to various online groups, in the hopes of getting an answer for what it was, but some of the users said they tried to view the image in the app wouldn't load, or that it had vanished. The man was able to take screenshots of the weather anomaly before it left, and noted that the shape of it didn't match anything that was coming up on the map. The photographs were eventually shared to online groups by users in the hopes of getting answers. However, it seemed that no one could explain what it was or what was causing it. One user said the following, It's been seen in the same area for a day now, and it doesn't appear to be moving. What's especially strange is that I've contacted people who live close to this region, and they've said that nothing is happening in the sky above them. This could just be an anomaly that showed up on the app, but what's odd is that these apps are usually pretty good at updating, and it's unlikely to see something like this stick around. It could just be some type of test that was carried out in the nearby area, it's not uncommon for government officials or scientists to spray chemicals in the air. This could just be what we're seeing here. I think that an experiment is the most likely answer. End quote. Scientists have openly admitted that they spray chemicals into the atmosphere, and have said they plan to do this in order to help with things like global temperatures. Solar geoengineering is just one idea that's been presented in order to help fight global warming, and although teams of researchers have said this could help cool the planet, many have expressed their concerns about unwanted side effects. Studies are being carried out by scientists in order to work out the correct amount of chemicals that needs to be sprayed into the atmosphere, saying that the dosage has to be correct in order to tackle climate change. Scientists have said there's still teething problems, and that these need to be worked out before anything is carried out, saying that there's definitely uncertainty surrounding this intervention. They did say though that it's worth the risk, and that we could see dramatic benefits. Dr. Peter Irvine, who led the study, said the following. The analogy is not perfect. But solar geoengineering is a little like a drug which treats high blood pressure. An overdose would be harmful, but a well-chosen dose could reduce your risk. End quote. Others have gone down this route and said that chemicals sprayed into our atmosphere could explain these anomalies that are appearing in different locations. This isn't the only place where these types of anomalies have been detected. This happened recently over the United States. Residents were using weather apps and noticed that a large anomaly had appeared. 
people wanted answers for what they were seeing, with news crews eventually picking up on the story. Although no official explanation was given for the anomaly, it was reported by weather experts that the most likely explanation was that it was linked to the military, and that they'd been doing some testing in the area. Another similar event was reported when scientists at the University of Alabama in Huntsville said atmospheric conditions caused air traffic control to be suspended. Officials in the area detected a large blob on radar screens that at first could not be explained. Officials soon came forward and said they were behind the mystery blob, noting that the blob was admitted from one of their aircrafts as part of a routine test. Arsenal officials released a statement after residents started to demand an answer for what the blob was. In a statement, officials said that routine tests were being carried out and that reflective particles designed to help aircraft avoid detection by military radar were conducted at the arsenal. They said the following. This RR-188 showed as an anomaly on local weather screens as weather conditions caused it to linger longer than normal." End quote. Scientists at the University of Alabama in Huntsville said the atmospheric conditions caused the anomaly to be suspended in the air, rather than falling back to the earth as was intended. The military said that people were never meant to see the anomaly, and this was meant to be conducted without people knowing. The military then said that delays with these weather conditions caused the blob to then show up on radar screens. Redstone officials said these chemicals are commonly used by the military in training and testing operations, saying the following. Redstone is committed to ensuring environmental stewardship, while balancing that with our critical missions to support the warfighter. Officials said this spray will not have any environmental effects. Interestingly, although scientists have said they need to conduct more tests before these chemicals are sprayed into the sky, some have theorized that these chemicals are already being put into the atmosphere, and have said that these anomalies that have been detected by radar prove this. Not everyone has got on board with this testing though, and other scientists have warned that by doing this it could cause a reaction from Mother Nature, and in turn cause more damage than good. As of right now, scientists plan to carry on with studies into geoengineering. So what do you make of this photograph? And what do you think is causing this anomaly? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below, and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.